What's going on everyone, Kellen Rack here. Today I wanna to do a pretty simple tutorial and sort of a bit of a giveaway as we approach Christmas here. I wanna talk about light leaks and particle overlays and then overlay channels and opacity channels that will help you make photos and video look just a little bit more interesting in a lot of cases. So this is really easy and it's nothing too complex. So I just wanna walk you through this so that you can hopefully use it in some of your own projects. So the first thing I wanna do is look at photography and how this can help photography. So I will take this photo of my buddy Josh and now let's just make a new sequence and we will drop the photo right into the sequence here. And I'm just gonna scale it up so that it fills the frame. Now, if you're making a slideshow or anything like that and you have photos, sometimes there's not a lot of interest to the photos. Sure, you can add a Ken Burns-esque movement or scale or whatever that might be that you wanna add, but I think that particles and light leaks can add a ton to any of these photos. So, I have a whole bunch here. I'm gonna start with particles. We have a particle effect here, which is just particles moving over black. And if I take a chunk of that and drop it right over my clip, right over my photo, and we'll just do it right in the middle here. And then you go to your effects in Premiere, click on the particles, go to effects controls. And if you go to opacity, you'll have a blend mode here. And it's gonna be set to normal whenever you bring it in. But there's a ton of different options and these can work for you in a whole bunch of different ways. So a few that I like to use for this effect is first screen, which basically gets rid of the black and it gives you a nice touch to your shot, giving it a little bit of oomph, if you will. The other option we can do is a linear dodge or an add, which means that the highlights in the particles are now making, sorry, the highlights in the particles are working off of the background and brightening everything up in a, in a very simple way of putting it. And then sometimes I like to use an overlay as well. In this case, it's a little bit too strong. I can lower my opacity and then you get a nice touch. I actually don't mind this here. The overlay, um, as I said, darkens things up. But if we lower our, our opacity, you just get the nice touch of movement behind there. And this is actually the one I'm liking best for my photo here. So you can see the particles very lightly, not too aggressive, um, and they give it a nice touch. So the reason that I like this for photography is that it gives a little sense of movement without animating too much and making it feel too cheap. So that's how the particles work. And there's nothing too complex about it. Sometimes I'll add a tint, make them look a little red, make them look a little blue, whatever the feel of my photo is. And let me show you, if you use a historic photo, this I find on historic photos works extremely well. Let's drop that in. And you'll see the movement here is fantastic. So let me bring up the opacity a little bit the movement here, it almost feels like this is a shot, a historic shot that might have dust moving around and it gives it a nice, nice touch. Now the dust in this shot, of course, is very strong in this particular um, clip I have here. It's very strong. You know, you can find any sort of particle or dust shot on the internet um, that might help you. I've also got the large dust beam shot here we can drop on, give that a try. And you just play with your blending modes and see what you like. just gives it a little bit of motion in your shots. So I'm gonna give you some of these effects in a Dropbox folder, the link will be below, and you can try them out on your clips, the dust particles. Now I wanna talk about light leaks, which I use all the time in my projects. Light leaks are basically um, shots, light leaks and film burns, it's, it's a shot of light that hits the sensor of your camera, creating a color and effect, and it works as a great transition piece and also as an overlay. So if I drop this on, the photo here, you will see, and it's gonna be the same thing, we need to play with our um, blending mode. I'll give this an add, and if I play this photo out, we'll see the light leak comes in and just gives it a nice touch as though a, a little ray of sun is hitting your sensor while you're shooting or something along those lines. It gives it that extra motion. Now, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of these. You can see some that are ambient light that will just sort of remain on the entire time. And they work great, again, on photos and on video. And you can play with the brightness and opacity of your shot here. 
but this one is just an ambient purple color and it sits on the photo and moves around a little bit so you get that touch of movement and touch of lighting um, works really well now this is how they work on photos as I've shown here they're a nice little touch for photos I use them a lot especially on historic photos great if you're putting together a documentary or anything like that and you have a lot of video but then you've got a bunch of photos and you want to give them just a little bit something more to spice them up now how about on video we've got this shot here leading up to the final out okay what if we gave it a little bit of a light leak so we'll bring in one of the film burns and where I like to use it is on a transition between shots smack it in the middle we'll give it an add the pitch light leak transition into the next shot works really nice because what it does is rather than having a quick cut and in this case the cuts work pretty well but if the cuts aren't exactly super smooth this focuses the eye on the leak and what's happening and it continues into your next shot so it gives a sense of continuity between your editing and it just has a nice look to it and again in this case that's probably a little bright so i would just lower my opacity and you can play with it in whatever mode you need. So this is an ad, but if we gave it a screen, changes up a little bit. If we gave it an overlay, changes up a whole lot and affects a lot more of the shot. So there's a ton of different things that you can do with these light leaks and these dust and particles. You can change their colors. Um, let's say we wanna change the color of this light leak. I will give it a screen, or sorry, I'll give it an ad. And we can see here that it's relatively orange. Well, I would just go in tint in my effects, drop it on, and then we can map the white to whatever we want. We could say blue in this case. Then we've got a little bit more of a blue effect. Our whites become blues. So a whole bunch of different options that you can do using these light leaks and the dust. Um, so like I said, this is a super simple tutorial. There's really not much complex to it at all. It's more of me giving you some of these effects to let you try in your projects. Let me know if you have questions in terms of how to do the blending modes or anything. Um, they're really quite simple. Again, it's all under opacity in your effects control panel. Um, there's not much to it. Use them at your transitions. Use them to spice up your photos and your videos. Use them to do something new and let me know what you do really really easy but i just wanted this week to be something that i could give to you as we approach christmas and let you play with and use in your own creative way so if you enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe it means a whole lot to me go ahead and leave a comment down below like the video and we'll check you back in the next one thanks guys